Hi guys, I'm Andy. Welcome back to Backpacking UK. Hiking, backpacking and wild camping your thing. Please hit that subscribe button because that's what this channel is all about. Right, today be pitching and reviewing the awesome Terra Nova Southern Cross 2 tent. Now this is a true four season tent. It pitches outer and inner together and it's just really, really well made. It's also a true two person tent. It's big, roomy and spacious. It's got two doors and two vestibules as well. If you get the optional footprint, which is 72 pound, that footprint also covers the vestibule areas as well. But it's got two poles. It pitches so fast. It's really, really easy to pitch, even if it's chucking down with rain or if it's really windy. And I'll show you in real time how it pitches together. So what I'm gonna to do today I'm just going to show you what's inside this Terra Nova Southern Cross 2 tent bag. Then we're going to pitch it, have a good look around the outside of this tent, have a look inside the tent and I'll give you my final thoughts. I'm also going to go through with you what's new for 2023. They've made some new features and unfortunately there's also some bad news for this tent too but we'll come to that at the end. But it's a brilliant two-person tent. We've absolutely loved using it. And once you see it pitched, I think you'll agree, it's just a brilliant four-season tent. So let's have a look inside this Terra Nova Southern Cross 2 tent bag. So inside the tent bag, we've got the inner and outer as one together. And then we've got the crossing poles. We've got the middle pole, which is blue, and the end-to-end -end pole which is red. It's really, really easy to pitch. This particular model had the shepherd type pegs, which were absolutely awful, but you'll be pleased to know for 2023, they've upgraded the tent pegs to what I call proper backpacking tent pegs. So they're much better for four season use. Also comes with some instructions too, which is in the Velcro, which is in the pole bag. So let's get this Terra Nova Southern Cross 2 tent pitched. So like I said, it's inner and outer together. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna roll it out nicely. So let's just pull it apart, make sure the straps are out of the way. Get all the corners out nicely, ready for pitching. So what I'm going to do first is it's a still day today. I'm just going to crack on and get the red pole set up. Now these poles are alloy tent poles. They've also got quite a reasonable thickness to them. So these tent poles are 8.64 millimeter, which is sort of really good for sort of four season use. They're quite strong. So I'm just gonna pull this tent pole out. Just carefully make sure every single segment of the pole is fully aligned. So this is the red pole. So I'm gonna use the outer pockets on the tent. So if you start with the outer ones, it's much easier to erect. So let's just get that one out of the way. Okay, so that's the first tent pole set up on the Southern Cross 2 tent. Now for the blue one. Now the blue tent pole just goes through the middle of the tent in a proper sleeve, nothing like what you get on the, the tarp tents. This one won't rip. So blue pole, just make sure, because it's slightly angled, just make sure the angle suits the tent, what you're trying to do, because you don't want to force it in the wrong direction. So let's pop this through the sleeve. 
So when you've got these sleeves, just be really, really careful. Don't rush it because you don't want to pop that tent pole through the fabric. You will be in tears. Trust me, I've had tears in my eyes in the past. It's not a nice feeling at all. So let's get this up. Again, use the outer little pocket first. Pull, pull this down. Okay, so now what I'm going to start to do is just pop the clips onto the red pole, which is really dead easy to do. tent quickly gets into shape. Okay, so in pretty much record time, this tent is pitched. Now it's fully freestanding tent this is, so I can move this around, pick it up, it's not very heavy, and just make sure I've got that perfect pitch. So what I'm going to do next, I'm just going to start pegging it out. Now I'm just going to guy it out as well. It's got some very, very simple guy lines. One of the reasons why I love this tent, so you've got these vents at each end. Again, just to keep that strength in the wind. So that is it. The only thing that I tend to do now, depending on how the weather is, I will actually change uh, the poles. So I want it slightly more taut. I'll just bring the poles in, which helps bring it together, make it nice and taut, make it nice and arched. So let's have a look around this Terranova Southern Cross 2 tent. It is a great backpacking tent. It's really, really well thought out. It's a fantastic shape. It's got these nice vents on each side to reduce condensation. And the guy points are in really good places. The only thing I would say is uh, when it's really windy, I'll probably attach some more guy lines to it. But there's some additional Sort of pegging out points. These are where the poles go into. I'm just using my own pegs for the purposes of the review today. These are the poles that you've got and the clips and the guy lines down here. You can obviously velcro the vent shut if you like but it's just a it's just a cracking tent, it really, really is. This is the blue pole and the blue pole fixing. So the Terranova Southern Cross 2 tent uses a 30D nylon fabric for the fly with a hydrostatic head rating of 5,000 millimeters. The bathtub floor is a 70D nylon fabric with a 10,000 hydrostatic head rating. And also the inner is a 20D fabric. So let's have a look inside this Terranova tent. Now, this is one of my favorite features. It's just brilliant. All tents should have this. So you've got this big storm flap over the fly and it's got a little clip which just clips like that. So it's, it's just so easy and it just keeps the door completely out of your way, just like that. And it won't come undone like little rubbishy bits of fabric or toggles it just clips and that's that done now you've got this big u-shape zip which comes up now as you can see you've got solid mesh up to sort of like a mid height and then see-through mesh after that which really really aids ventilation now I know some of you for a four season tent will want more 
solid mesh. But the thing is, the more solid mesh there is, the more condensation you're going to get. And certainly from my experience anyway, you need some sort of ventilation. You, you really, really do. And the way the solid mesh comes up to a mid height, you're not going to get chilly wind while you're asleep. But it's just going to be much more light, airy and fresher inside the tent with that sea free mesh. So let's have a look inside the Southern Cross too. So you've got this 60 centimetre vestibule area and you have that on both sides of the tent. Now you've got these panels at the ends which mask or opens up the ventilation. So that's full ventilation and then you've got the solid mesh to stop that ventilation coming in. You've also got a pocket on either side there and there. Then the doors are mirrored, the vestibules are mirrored, and then above at the top, you've got these little hoops to put like a line on or to put your lantern on instead. So here we are inside the Terranova Southern Cross 2 tent. Like I say, it's really nice, big, airy and spacious. Now it's got a 225 centimetre length, a 120 centimetre width and 120 centimetre height, albeit I think that's to the top of the tent because I'm 5 foot 8, 172 centimetres and there's definitely about 100 mil above my head. So I should think actually inside the tent is probably more like a metre, I should think. Uh, the vestibules are 60 centimetres, that's on both sides, which is just the right space. You can put a backpack each side. To be honest, you've got this like lovely cooking area here as well. So it's a really, really well thought out tent this is. Right, so like I said, there's some updates for 2023. So you've got an adjustable upper vent, you've got a new inner door tie back, you've also got an outer door peg point. However, it does weigh an extra 140 grams and it does cost an extra 130 pounds. So it really, really has gone up in value, unfortunately, and a bit in weight too. Now I think those additions will be great, I really like the additional pegging point on, on the door because I think it really does need that. I should also mention the inner for 2023 is also PFC free too. So what do I think about Terranova 7 Cross 210? Well, it has been a favourite with Backpacking UK. You know, a few of us have had a go with it and we've really enjoyed using it. It's so easy to pitch. It really is. It's like dummy proof. And if you're tired at the end of the day and it's raining or it's windy, it's just so nice to have a tent uh, that pitches as one all together and as simply and as easily as this. Now, for a proper two-person tent, 120 centimetres is the absolute minimum, I would say. I mean, a regular sleeping pad is usually somewhere between, like, say, 55 and 60 centimetres. So you really are close together. And if you've got wide sleeping pads, you'll actually be pushing the bathtub floor outside. So for two person use, just be really, really careful there. The other thing, and I think it's something that outer and inner pitch tents sort of suffer from, the inner in particular can sometimes be a bit flappy in the wind. Um, this tent does move around a little bit, I've got to say, and that's the outer fabric and the inner fabric. It doesn't bother me, but I should say that to you. It's certainly not as rigid as some of the other backpacking tents on the market. But the strengths for me, as well as obviously pitching it all, um, I think the weight's pretty good. Unfortunately, it's gone from 2.29 kilos to 2.43 kilos, which is a bit of a shame. And if you want a footprint, that's going to add additional weight on top of that, albeit it's going to cover the vestibule area, which is absolutely great. But it's £900 now. 
you're really knocking on that door of the Hillebergs big time. Um, it is a really nicely made tent. There's no doubt about that. It's just a shame. You, by the time you've got a footprint, you're talking about a £1,000 now, which, it, which is a shame. You know, I know inflation's going through the roof, but more as another tent that's like a thousand pound now it really is a shame but it is a cracker and i am highly recommending this tent i think if you bought this tent for four season use you won't be disappointed um it ticks so many boxes it's got lots of features i love the ventilation options the features for 2023 will make this tent even better and it could be the one. It could be the one tent you ever need to buy. So hopefully you like this tent review. Please check out my other tent reviews as well. I've got lots out there. Check out my wild camping videos whilst you're there and hope to see you wild camping soon. Cheers.